doesn't have enough brap. FMF 4.1 off. Yeah. Go away. Oh, it's gorgeous. Well, come on, guys. Well, this is it. We're testing the Supermoto. We're testing the FMF. <laughs> with this without the FMF but it was a bit quiet it was a bit too civilized it was quicker than the 701 but only marginally and I don't think it was perhaps worth all of the extra extra aggro and extra maintenance over 701 I was a little bit I was a little bit disappointed I suppose with the FMF well it's a different story it's really transformed it it's, it's made every gear step up so Third feels like second used to feel, if you see what I mean. Fourth feels like third used to feel. So I used to do good clutch ups in third gear. Now I can do them in fourth where I was doing them in third. So he's moved everything on the gear and given the bike a. Well, I, I, I don't know how much power it's given it, but it's, it's considerable. It's a bit mental! That's another reason to sell the Super Duke because I've got, if I want to go hooliganating, I've got this now. The Super Duke is like a big supermoto. Whereas this is, oh chap leaves in the road, this is a proper supermoto. This is the ultimate hooligan. With the gearing we've got now, like a cruise at 70, I mean that is, that is 70. Got no idea of the revs, it's like no rev counter, but there is plenty left. 65, 70 mile an hour cruising, no problem. Because of that six speed, six speed box. Direction changes, it's not as sharp as I thought it would be, to be honest. I didn't go tubeless on the, I should have converted the wheels and done the tubeless mod to them. I didn't do that, I should have really done that. When these tires wear out, these Avons, these are super, sti stu <laughs> super sticky Avon rubber on this, the track rubber, and it's already getting pretty worn, it's not done many miles. So when these wear out, I'm going to take these tyres off and I'm going to do the old mod to make them tubeless. That'll save a bit of weight in the wheels, I think. Make it a bit, bit, a bit lighter. Sounds bloody lovely with that prime. It's not as loud as I thought. It's OK on idle. It's not too much louder than standard. It's got a lot more brat, though. And it's got some nice pops, too. The brakes are amazing now they've bedded in that front but that front motor master setup oh there's so much power a weapon on these sorts of roads, back roads like this, there is not a quicker way across the countryside. It's quite hard to swap between three different styles of riding. With the GSX-R, of course you're hanging off it, you're, you're getting your knee out, you're shifting your ass around. With the Super Duke, you're not really shifting your weight about in the seat, you're staying put and you're using like the, the bars to, to turn the bike in and the back brake, a, bit, a very Supermoto-like. On this, this is like being sat on a razor blade. This seat is so thin. You have to pivot at the hips on these. Put your foot out, pivot at the hips. So keep your body upright, but pivot at the hips like that. Again, it's a different style of riding, again. Um, if you haven't ridden one of these in a while, I have to switch between different styles of riding. It takes a little while to get used to it, but my God, does it keep things interesting. It's a cool bit of kit. Oh, there's a dog. I was going to do a wheelie. Sorry, love. I'm a bit noisy. I'm a bit antisocial on this. Which I love. <laughs> if you stick where the car wheels run in the road, 
along your line is normally clear of stones and whatnot. This doesn't look fun. Go on, tell me. It's epic. Epic supermoto action. Try a bit of rear braking. Foot out. Oil on the gas. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, I've been really happy. I was happy before. It was still great, but I was like, wow. It would have been a lot easier just to buy a 701 and it's, a, it's about the same power it's heavier of course this is much lighter so the brakes are better on this with that setup it changes direction quicker you know it's better but it's whether it was better enough to warrant all of that maintenance you have to do and i wasn't sure now it's bloody worth it <laughs> Of course, you've got no ABS, nothing. Well, you have got traction control on this, I'll tell a lie. Well, the traction control is for mud and off-road, not, not for road use. So you're completely riding au naturel. That is your traction control. That is your ABS. <laughs> Those are your ABS. It's all up here. Which I do quite like the rawness of that with a bike like this. 107 kilos of raw, unadulterated hooliganism. This will do, I, don't, I think I know where it goes, but who cares? You don't care about one of these, it's not about the, the destination, it's about the ride. Still be concerned about all the shit in the road. Cheese. So I mean, you have to stay in these tyre tracks. You get in the middle there where the where the gravel is and apples. You're in trouble. Oh, hooligan! I'm a hooligan. Hooligan born and bred. Ooh, which way now? I got a clue. No signposts. Much sure have I got? Got enough. I mean, bad thing about this is vibey. It's a big thumper. There's a lot of vibration. You know, if you want something smooth, then the new 701, it puts out a quarter of the vibrations this does. This is very raw. It's not a comfortable ride for doing long distances. If you're thinking of something to commute on, forget it. Forget getting a converted Enduro like this. This is good for just Sunday morning, couple of hours, blatting through roads like this. It's perfect, just for fun. Fun only. <laughs> That's all these are good for. Where are we now? Bram Dean Winchester. Bram Dean, let's go Bram Dean Winchester. I don't think I've ever been here before. So things left to do, sort the suspension. I need to over the winter months I'm probably going to send the shock and forks off to K-Tech to be revalved, resprung, stiffened up more for the road. It does too much suspension movement, there's too much dive at the front especially. I've wound as much preload into the rear as I can. Um, so yeah, it's about stiffening that up for the road really. Yeah, you know, I, I, I did say I was going to use this off-road in the winter. I may do. Wake up, people. Chops is in town. As long as you slow down for the villages, you know, just, just pay a little bit of respect to the, to the 30s and 40s through the villages. And, you know, no one's getting upset by it. Just be a little bit sensible. You know, if I came tearing through here at 60, People are going to get upset, there's going to be complaints. The next thing you know, the old bill will be down these roads waiting. Just be a little bit sensible when you've got the roads to yourself. 
apart from loads of dogs and cyclists. That's tight, give us a leg out on that one. This one's tight as well, give us a leg out on that one. Oh, hey, little back steps out of there. Grit. Stand it up for the grit. in the road. 